You know when you try to take a selfie and you're just like, it's not, it's just. Howdy y'all, my name's Brittany. My name's Brooke. And we are here for a very special edition of the House at Large, built crafting style slash music style because we have Brooke who has a new album. Tell us about it. Hi, yes, I have a new album. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, it's great to be in the house. Bellarsville. Uh, Bellarsville. This is my favorite house. I'm, I'm kind of geeking out that I'm in it. So yes, I have a new album. It's called Calico. It's out now. Today. Today. It's kind of a big day. You know it's also a big day. <laughs> Are in the With house. Boots on. We were so inspired by Brooke's song called Food. Oh, the single that's actually rolling today. Today? It's the song that's like, it's the single up that I'm releasing with the record today. Well, people are hearing it for the first time today. We planned it perfectly. We did. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, we are going to meet the dazzling some food. And we are very excited because we're wearing some not attractive footwear right now. No. It doesn't go it doesn't, outfit. it. It ain't a pair of these boots no. that are bedazzled. I'd like to know, Brooke, what do you have in store for your boots? Well, it's, you know, we were talking about craft breeds. Yeah. And I'm being honest, like, I feel like you're such a craft uh, idol for me that I'm feeling quite nervous. You're... Like, I'm a little bit like, what am I going to do with my boots? Yeah. And these are like an actual pair of boots from my closet. And okay. I thought, you know... I didn't really know what this, what to do, but we were talking about maybe doing, like, customizing with some like words on the back. Maybe it says Cali Co. Mm, right, I like it. Or Cali. No. No. Cal. Cal Ico. Ico. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break it down. I don't know something like that, and then you know I was just seeing some like trims and things, and I might go into the detailing and, and paint with the color. Yeah. So those, just my general thoughts, what are you going to yeah. do? Tell me. You know, I haven't I'm made dying. an official plan here, okay. but I also, funny story, I also get craft free when I craft in public, because I like to be in my life. No, I understand. Yeah. This is this is kind of putting us on the spot. Yeah, but you know what? Let's just get down to business. We've got yeah. some trims, we've got some this. leathers, we've got some rick rack, puff, puffy paint, right. remember? Right. Oh, I remember um, it. Yeah, don't forget it. Pump, paint. Let's just get down Let's to business. Let's just get down to business. Let's get down to, to business, business to defeat the boots. Uh, the boots. And why wouldn't I, why oh, didn't I think of that? It's not like I... Are you a musician or what? Am I? <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. I, I am, I think. Fun fact, I, um, these are silver. And I spray am... paint, yeah. spray paint is done red, they're still sticky. Which is kind of good for DIY, right? No, it's not. You're terrible. supposed to give any spray paint 24 hours. We gave them three hours, so not ideal. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this works. Hopefully, my hands don't stick to it. I know. No, that would that would be your boot. That's my boot. Are you gonna do one desires. word? Are you gonna do calico? I'm gonna do cal. And then echo, echo on yeah. the other one. Amazing. I mean, or I could say I heart brick white. You don't. That's Totally true. And I and I heart you. Happening. Yeah. So maybe I should put I heart Brittany Jackson. By the way, did you notice how she called me an idol and I was like, Yeah, oh. you're my craft idol. Oh. <laughs> whenever I hear it, whenever I hear that, whoa, whoa. like I'll watch it and that comes on and my stomach instantly just <gasps> really? like goes into knots and I just get anxiety straight up. Oh, really? I'll never forget. Really? I'll never forget. Tell us about your, your relationship to idol now. Um, I have a good relationship with Idol, actually. It's funny because when I was on this, when I was on the show, 11 years ago, wow. crazy, back when it was, you know, with the original three, there was Simon, yeah. Paula, Randy, they're no longer Classes. there. They really have been like genuinely good to me and I'm super like thankful. But yeah, it was a wild ride and it was like, it was so scary the whole time. I was just like, <laughs> you, so I hear it just even whoa whoa like oh, weird. turning of the stomach. Turning of the tongue. Now tell me about um this new album. Yes. Why did you decide to make an album and a country album? Okay, so it's a great question. So right off the back of American Idol, um, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of like sixties and seventies songwriters, 
that my parents listened to. You know, just like the golden era of singer-songwriters. The James Taylor, Carole King, mm -hmm. Joni Mitchell, Carly Simon, Fleetwood Mac, the Eagles, mm -hmm. Linda Ronson, just the good old stuff. Mm -hmm. So I grew up on a lot of that. And so there was that aspect of, of my like music direction, trying to talk and creatively it's like, really hard. process what this I'm going to do hard, with my boots. Yeah. But um, I think I'm going to start with, with a piece This of might this. be bad. Hey, like, let's, yeah, it, but it might also be amazing. amazing. It might be, like, bad in a good way. Driving me back to Memphis, gotta find my Daisy Jane. Been through the desert on a horse with no name, it felt good to be out on the range. In the desert, you can't remember your name, for there ain't no but to give you no pain. So I grew up listening to a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cute. So, oh yes. Don't worry. I'm just. Look at you. I love it. Over your songs. Oh, I love it so much. Um. Um. Yeah. So, so you grew up on that, and I that's grew up on why that you were like, singer. I want to do it. Well, I grew up on that, and I grew up on a lot of country music. I grew up in Arizona. Country's big deal there. Okay. And you know, we had like three country radio stations, oh. and. So I grew up on 90s country, okay. like George Strait, okay. which is also 70s, but or 60s, I'm sorry, 80s, and and uh, the Judds and Shania Twain and Faith Hill and Dixie Chicks and Reba McIntyre was like my everything. Okay. So yeah, I grew up listening to all, like both of you know I listened to everything really, and so off the back of American Idol. People always thought I sounded like a country singer, even when I was on the show. But like, you know, I kind of just straddled that line of singer songwriter and kind of country sounding stuff. But I knew my first record I wanted to do, I wanted to do like a, a singer songwriter record. Mm -hmm. I started making some decisions, so I'm painting. I had London, my first daughter, who's seven. Who's adorable. She's adorable and she is, a, she would be in heaven here. She's a craft. She should have come. She's a, she's a crafting genius, really, I mean. You can't stop her. I need her to coach me. You, I mean, all of us. She really just, you know, kids don't second guess. They don't overthink. They just go. Yeah. Super fun. Um, so I had her and I actually took her out on the road with me for like the first year. She flew 25 oh. times her first year of life. Oh, little boy. I had my guitar on the back, baby on the front. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we hit the road and it just got to a place where it was just really too much. It was just too hard. But in the back of my mind, I always knew the country record was next. But I always just assumed that I, I just, you know, I wanted to go to Nashville. Like, that's where all the country yeah. gold is made. And um, A line from Calico. It's literally song. a line from the song. Um, and, uh, yeah, my heart was set on, on making the record there, a country record. Uh, but, the, yeah, I also had another baby, Sunny. And, you know, it just, I wasn't going to just, I realized at one point, I'm not going to just up and go to Nashville. I was, like, walking one into kindergarten, nursing a baby. But my husband was like, I think you should get, I think you should get to work on that country record. And so yeah, I got pretty psyched and I was like, yeah, I, I, that would be amazing. So then after kind of realizing that I wasn't going to go to Nashville and that I needed to bloom where I was planted, we ended up making a country record in California, which is why it is now called Calico, California, Cali, country, co. But, yeah, so I came up with that, and that was kind of the driving force behind the record. It was like, let's make a California country record. You know, interject some of that, like, palm trees and sunshine and feel-good vibes, and so that's what we did. Now, tell me about the songs. Okay. Tell me about... What would you like to know about see, the songs? I want to know which one means most to you. That's a, honestly... Calico is definitely one of the most narrative driven songs for me. You know, I kind of refer to, I think it's the, the idea that that song really is about that you have a, a you think things are going to go a certain way mm. and you kind of have it in your mind and then, you know, the, 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 the change of plans and that you embrace what it is and you make the most of it and you, and it actually turns out better than you kind of planned it. Okay. Um, that record is just really like, I mean, the whole American Idol experience was that for me. Mm -hmm. Like I never anticipated going on American Idol. That wasn't something I aspired to, but it's, I'm so thankful that it happened and, 
You know, like there, if I had gone to Nashville, I wouldn't have made Calico, right? True, you made your own Nashville. Yeah, we did. You're just whipping through and I love that trim. That is amazing how that trim is just perfect it's for the perfect. inside of a boot. I know, it's like it was meant to be all along. Um, I am Brooke White's number one I, fan. It's true. And I am yours. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, everybody. Thank you. Wait, what is thank you from again? Is it Baby Mama? No. No. You've got mail. You've got mail. Thank uh, you, Thank everybody. you, everybody. <laughs> I gotta go home and watch You've Got Mail now. You actually do. I love it. Let me yeah. get your boots on. Da, na, na, no, na, I want to transfer da, over na, to na, boots na, na, because we're. This is, this all is about the song. This. Yeah, the boots, which. Will you talk about can this? Can we talk about yeah. this song? Because okay. I, I actually got a little preview you of did. what you're talking about and it makes me laugh. It, it does. Okay. okay. So when we were writing this song, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I was like, this is a joke. This song is just kind of like a joke. Like, it's so kind of hokey. And get your, put your boots on, you know, and at first I was like, okay, we will work on this song, but it's not going to go on the record. Like, I just don't hear the song being on my legit country record, right? That's what I'm trying to make here. <laughs> and as it was developing, I would, you know, when you're working in the studio, you always have these like different versions, you know, where you, you're working on it. And so I had brought down home a version and I showed it to my to Dave, my husband, and my kids. And instantly he's like, I wanna hear that one again <laughs> and again. And so my kids and my husband would play the work tape, we call them work tapes, or the, the demo over and over again. And so when my husband would tell my kids to get ready, he'd be like, go get your, he'd say, get your shoes on. And he'd go, da na 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 And then Sonny would go, and he'd go, da da na 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 So I'll do it, and then you do this, ready? Okay. Get your boots on. But we would do this as a family. Like David would do this with the kids. Anyway, spread my pink. Turns out this song just turned out way too freaking fun to not have on the record. It won me over, and I was like, okay, we're doing this. And it is literally like a disco dance country song. Which is why I add it to everything I'm doing. Get your work on. Literally, dirt, dirt, you dirt. just fill in the blank, right? And it works. But really this song does have like a legit, like if you listen to the lyrics, it's about working hard for the thing that you want to do. Yeah. That you, it's like the, the whole concept is, is, I mean, put your boots on is synonymous with get, let's get to work. Should I do like all, like should I do a couple colors yeah. and like you make can it rainbow, rainbow it. it out? Yeah, that's why we have okay. a rainbow. Okay, we do have a rainbow. Yeah. Thank you, Marfa. Martha Stewart. Speaking of, did you ever watch the Martha Stewart with Snoop Dogg? Oh my goodness, no. I, I never watched I it, but I want to. I didn't have the platform to Snoop watch it. Snoop is like literally the funniest person ever. Did you not see his video of him thanking himself? No. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. It's actually so good. Cause let's talk about this for a minute. Cause you could tell he was like in the middle of a thank you speech. And at the end he said, <laughs> I want to thank me. <laughs> and he's, I literally lost my mind laughing. <laughs> But it was so genuine, and there was actually such a humility behind it. I'd like to thank me for always believing in myself. I'd like to thank me for never giving up. I'd like to thank me for never having a, taken a day off. I'd like to thank me for always giving more than I than I take. Do you ever give yourself that same pep talk? I loved it. I was like, you know what? There was something really refreshing about it. I thought I've never thought to thank myself. Oh, you know. Because you know, because you know, there's always like, you know, you want to be humble. You don't want to be like. I don't think I don't think, think I actually so. think that about myself though. You no, know? but you know you have to think about and it. He, like the fact that he, he really does, did he have to make those choices every day. He vocalized it. He vocalized it. But you know what? One of the, my favorite quotes is do something that your future self will thank you for. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this was like Snoop in the moment looking back on his past and being like, Thank you, self. Thank you, self. For all the things I am that I did for me today and for other people. And I'm proud of I myself for what I did. That. You know, it also helps. I thought it was very really. Rich. Yeah. Don't you think? I think it's very helpful. I cannot thank myself for. <laughs> thank you for being poor, and working thank... real hard. Thank you for getting yourself into debt. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for getting... running your kids late to school half the year. You're thank welcome, you. self. <laughs> about you but I'm not nearly there. I'm not done. I need some more time. Hours worth ahead of us. 
But you know what we can do? We can do it while we listen to Calico. Yay! <laughs> Go and get the album. Yes, please. Stream it. You can stream it. Also, if you're into vinyl, my first vinyl I've ever had. Mm. It's yellow, like the sun. You know, it's, it's really it's gorgeous. Cute. Thank it's you. really gorgeous. Go and get the vinyl, put it on your record players, and then go make some boots while you're at it. Brooke, thank you so much for thank you. This I is like being here. This is my dream come this true. This is my dream come true. Like, who cares about the boots? No one cares. I mean, well, good fun. Unless you do, in which case, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for caring. <laughs> Bye! Bye.